All right, dump the ERS. Two purple sectors. Welcome back, everyone, to some more F124 driver career mode. Heading to the home Grand Prix, the Austrian Grand Prix in today's video. Had a solid couple races and then we got hit with a DNF and then the craziest glitch around the Spanish Grand Prix which ended our race in P13. Could have been points but unfortunately we were unable to score points because the game had that stupid glitch around that final or the penultimate corner and just spins you off into Narnia. But hopefully Austria can be a better Grand Prix for us 23rd PL or 23 points P11 in the driver standings and the P6 in the constructors so let's see if we can add to the tally as we head to the Austrian Grand Prix if you guys are enjoying the series of course make sure you smash that like button and subscribe down below really do appreciate your support taking a quick look at the R&D progress and 399 points to my name is there anything that I can just about scrape uh through with ers rotor speed in time for the british grand prix yes please we'll try to rush that and now with our specialists our manufacturing expert is back uh complete five laps using at least two di different engine components no, no uh, well that will be possible because i use a practice set and then i use a racing set right so reach 273 or higher drs slot for more than 45 seconds that's possible because there are three drs straights in uh austria um finish in better position than your teammate in qualifying mm, i think i can try to do that well we can hit 315 kph surely we can uh and then 250 gear shifts yes um mm, that's fine we'll try the five laps actually so you can see here between canada and spain we had a massive upgrade package come through getting us closer to mercedes and we also got an upgrade package coming in before this weekend a durability package that hülkenberg uh started so that's always good to see um but yeah we're still the sixth best car right behind mercedes so let's see if we can put the car there again High up in the mountains here at spielberg it's time for qualifying on what will be the fastest laps of the season stand by for qualifying at the austrian grand prix Welcome to sprint qualifying then it is time to qualify for the sprint race which will be raining it seems like it'll rain in this session too so let me head out quickly and set a lap time out there just so that we can put something on the board quickly before the rain comes. All right, let's see what's our first lap saying. Oh, wait. Fastest lap with a 104.5. Okay. Oh, shucks. I have to use the mediums, don't I? Didn't get it mandated, though. Oh. It's supposed to be mediums, I think. Oh, well. I'll just sit here with my soft tire lap. <laughs> You're leading the pack. That's P1. And Verstappen's behind. Jesus Christ. Well, that's great. Danny Rick. Out of this race. After collision. <laughs> okay, well, on the soft tires, I have absolutely cooked here in Austria. This seems a little slow for the AI. What's going on here? Is it the rain affecting AI? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, we'll take it. We're moving on to the next round, I guess. Wow, track is getting wetter and wetter. We just have to finish this lap, that's it. 108.9 is the best I've got here. Rain is not making it easy on the dry tires. Let's see what the AI sets. Okay, so the rain did come, but then I set it unbelievably fast. How why is the AI so slow? This is very bizarre. Stroll, Gazi, Ocon, Hülkenberg, Alonso out. I am fa eh? This is strange.
It's anyone's game right now because DRS just got enabled when I was starting my lap. So I may have the fastest lap yet again because the AI didn't get DRS. You see, you gotta be smart with when you release. I may have gotten the fastest lap P1 maybe with the DRS advantage. Yes it is! Let's go, pole! This is weird. This is very strange around Austria. Yeah, look at that. The AI did not get the DRS advantage here for the third session. So they're only two seconds behind. Maybe that's like the DRS difference um, with and without DRS here. But that is quite fascinating. It has been a quite a fascinating qualifying session. So let's head into the sprint race starting from P1. I think I'm going to lose positions. I feel like Kevin Magnussen, Brazil 2021, when he put the car on pole, right? So yeah, that's the feeling right now. Forget pit stops, forget fuel management. It's pedal to the metal all the way here as we get ready for today's sprint. So here we are then for the sprint race and to verify. Yes, we're running 110 AI. So maybe that was justice for the injustice that we experienced in Spain. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into it. Medium tires is recommended. Uh, I don't think the softs will survive. Because you can see here the lap times will go from about... Huh? Go from 105, I think, to about 109. While the mediums go from 105, 5 or 106 to 107. Hmm. Yeah, I think the mediums are a safer bet. So let's stay on the mediums. It's the faster tire. Plus, I have extra mediums anyway. So let's jump into this race, see if we can win this sprint race. Here we go then. Let's see if the AI comes back at us. Lights out. Oh, here we go. I'm expecting to lose positions. There we go. The AI is back, I think. Oh, boy. Sandwiched between two AI cars. How is that my fault? He bumped into me, mate. I might intentionally let one of these guys go. But I'm not going to make it easy for them, of course. Oh, boy. Exceeding track limits. The dude turned in on me. Okay, we're staying close to Norris. Mediums are feeling good here, though. Mediums do feel good. Come on, let's stay close to Norris, please. We're in a good position here. Okay, DRS should be enabled. Okay, DRS yes. There we go, DRS, DRS. I want to recharge my battery a little with it. Oh, we might get Norris. We might get Norris. He had a bit of a lockup into turn three. Oh, Verstappen trying it. Unable to make a stick. I want the lead. I want the lead. I'm greedy. Maybe not the good choice, but I wanted it. Got it. Verstappen behind. I don't mind losing out to Verstappen here. Whoa, Norris hit my rear wheel. I'm gonna save some ERS here. I know I don't have the pace of the Red Bulls, but with DRS, I am kind of competitive here. We want to conserve some ERS. I swear for stepping went off, or he just about cradled that line. He's one lucky guy.
Okay. Let's stay in this train. We're half, oh, just under halfway. I regained the lead. Good job, nice overtake. Side by side between Verstappen and Norris. Please keep it side by side so I can run away, please. I hear collisions. Ah, uh, that's gonna be after the sprint. No, 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 you're kidding. Engine failure while I'm taking the lead. Really? What's happening with the Ferrari engine, man? I'm leading the sprint. You just have to hold on for three more laps. You're kidding. The win was in the back. I was letting Verstappen and Norris fight it out. No, you did not. You did not do this to me. Ah. Pain. What a chance. What a chance that we just fumbled. Ah. Look at that, I could have won the sprint race but the bloody engine gave out, man, how unlucky am I? Seriously, Charles Leclerc's unluckiness compares nothing to my unluckiness, man, seriously. We had the lead, we had the lead halfway through lap 9, and we were almost there, we just had to coast it home, leaving Norris and Verstappen to fight it out, I had a 2 second gap as well. Why do you do this to me, man? Why do you do this to me? Anyway, we had to qualify for the Grand Prix. I know that's going to be hard because I think we got lucky with the sprint qualifying session. This quality is not going to be the same. High up in the mountains here at Spielberg, it's time for qualifying on what will be the fastest laps of the season. Stand by for qualifying at the Austrian Grand Prix. That was painful indeed. What did I, what? Complete five laps using at least two different engine components during the, I did. Why am I not given that? Okay, whatever. Well, I got three different engine components, mate, because we just had to swap it out. The race itself seems to be wet. There might be a wet stint in there, but for now, welcome to qualifying for the Grand Prix. It was in fact the MGUK that combusted, yes. The MG UK gave out after 276 laps. What a joke. Um, so we got a new component in there. Let's just head out there, set some lap times. I'm so sick and tired of this car giving out on me, man. All right, let's see what our first lap says. P3. Wow. I do have some pace, man. I do have some pace. Teammate coming through, not gonna impede. Okay, that's a solid lap. P3 is very good. Ahead of a Ferrari and ahead of a Nelson Martin. This is looking tasty. And... Oh. Confirming. 110 AI right now. 110. I didn't confirm in the first sprint qualifying because I was so astounded. I completely forgot to. Uh, but yeah, we are running 110 AI. Have not touched it. Sweet! That was beautiful entry. Fastest. We got fastest lap, baby. Fastest of Q1. This is very promising for the rest of this qualifying session. Hey, no one was able to beat my lap time. A full tenth ahead of Max Verstappen. Hold on, I am actually cooking. Diego Hülkenberg P10 too. This is looking tasty. Of course, knocked out our Sergio Perez. Huge name in the Red Bull kicked out. 
um, I said kicked because I saw Kick Sauber here, Votas and Joe just above him, and then Sergeant and Gasly knocked out in Q1. Let's see how good this lap is. P3 ahead of the Mercedes and behind the Ferrari. Very solid lap. Very solid. 104.3. Alright, so with that used tires lap, we're P8. 1043 is good enough to P8. That's solid. Nico Hülkenberg out in P14 with Albon just behind him. Ocon, Ricardo, and Sonoda, the other drivers, knocked out in Q2. Q3 appearance. This is amazing. Let's go. Okay, it's looking good here. I'm trying to catch a little bit of the slipstream that Max Verstappen could provide. Alright, dump the ERS. Two purple sectors. Did I get pole here? In 110 AI. Yes! Yes! 110 AI. Let's go! Whew. Man, that was difficult, but we got pole position. Wow! Absolutely stunning result here on my home Grand Prix day. This is amazing. P1 ahead of Max Verstappen by 3 tenths, 3.5 tenths, and another 6 tenths ahead of Lando Norris. So my pace during qualifying or spring qualifying wasn't really wrong. It was just that the AI probably had some kind of issue with the rain, but I was fast. And then the sprint race itself showed as long as the engine stays together, I can perform. So let's see if we can convert this pole position into something huge in Austria. This is it then, race day in Spielberg for this year's Austrian Grand Prix. Not long to go before our drivers hurtle off the line and into the first turn, the Nicky Lauda curve. It was renamed in 2019 in memory of one of Formula One's most beloved figures. It's one of the shortest laps on the calendar today then with seven rights and just three lefts, making up the 10 corners of this high speed circuit. Turn two is barely a corner at all. They'll be flat out through there, a left hand kink into the uphill braking zone of turn three. Turns one, three and four are are all potential opportunities to overtake. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. The rookie lines up on pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Russell, Hamilton, Stroll, Sonoda, Ricardo, Ocon, Holkenberg, Albon, Gasly, Sargent, Joe, Perez, and Valtteri Bottas begins the race from the back of the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. And alongside me today, a man small in stature, but big on comments, Anthony Davidson. Hello. Now, sadly, things didn't work out for them last time. It was a bad race. Question is, though, can they recover today? Yes, they can, Crofty. You've got to put it behind you. Whatever happened last time, I was always told as a driver, park it, forget about it. Obviously, feel the pain when it happens, but then you can't dwell on it and carry that through to the next race. So put it behind you and just crack on with this race coming your way now. Man, I am super excited for this one. P1 starting position and again, to verify, not touching the difficulty at all, 110 confirmed. There's no way that I can adjust it here. No way. So yeah, brilliant, brilliant qualifying session for us. Let's take a look at the race strategy, mainly because there is rain coming at the end. I think I might stay on the current strategy because I think the rain might not come as quickly as we think it might. Perhaps we might finish the race even before the rain comes. So that is at the back of my mind. I think we'll stick to the strategy we're given and uh, make the best of it because we really need to push at the start. Um, if the rain comes, it comes. Maybe it'll come a little earlier than expected. Then we pit. And go for the enters. That's fine. So let's start this race. Super excited about this one. Starting from pole position. No cars ahead of us. That's quite fascinating, right? Lights out. Oh, Verstappen got a nice launch. But I have the outside line for turn one. Making me a much more advantageous player. Driver up into turn one. 
I hear collisions behind me. Do not want to be part of that. Verstappen's trying to move. The AI really like the inside line, by the way. They'll force their way through. Oh, brother. They like to brute force their way on the inside. Okay, not bad. Seems like it's a Norris Verstappen myself battle. As long as the engine doesn't give out, I will put up a fight. Oh, yellow flag. Who's this? Green flag. Someone retiring. I don't see anyone. Gotta keep my eye behind me, just to be sure. Same strategy as the sprint race. We're gonna let Verstappen through. Use the DRS to our advantage. Wow. No space at all for me there. I had to take the escape route. Oh no, I think I gave Science too much space. He's gonna get ahead. Never mind. I gone too deep. I've seen penalties given for that, but hey, it's the AI, so what do you expect? All right, Verstappen brute forces his way through as well. Okay, now it's time to use the DRS to our advantage here. Stay in this train. I want to stay close and let them drag me along. That's what we need to do, just like the sprint race. Collision! Well, Verstappen needs a penalty there. Reckless driving from the Red Bull. Okay, mate. Your lap times are all oh over my god! Right what was that? Sainz just drove into me, mate. I left the wits car wits there. Was Verstappen on his inside? I did not notice. Maybe Verstappen was on the way inside. Racing incident. Average lap time of 109.6. Say less. I can do that like literally in the next four laps with my eyes closed. But this battle is getting quite feisty here. Signs of Verstappen and myself. Okay, I think Verstappen's may do with Norris. Let's use him, charge up my ERS, but also to battle it out with him. Ah, this is bringing Norris back into the fight. Thank you for leaving space this time. Okay, we've charged up a bit of battery, but we've invited the rest of the pack back together.
Let me see my pit stop information. Seven laps. Uh oh. Did I squeeze Verstappen? Perhaps I did. But I was entitled to that space, to be honest. Alright, we're back. Okay, really, really good. We're back. But we've done nicely here. Come on. Come at me, bro. Why are you ramming me, Bruda? Literally brute force these guys. AI only know one language and it's brute force. Alright. Let's get close to Verstappen please, dump this ERS. Gone wide again. Misjudged the last corner. Let's be cautious. Alonso behind me now. We're in a DRS train. This is nice. Save some ERS. Tires. We'll be fine. Oh. First step has gone off. See ya, mate. Verstappen just went off. Straight forward. Thanks, mate. Oh, yellow flag. Okay, oh, it's an Aston Martin off now. Aston Martin. Of Lance Stroll or Alonso. Decided to take a trip okay, into... Th oh, red flag. Red flag. Oh, huge. What happened? Place, Why is it red flagged? What happened? Track, okay. This is fascinating. Red flag, our first red flag of the series. Huh. Is it raining? It's not raining just yet. But the rain is coming soon. Let's stay on the hards. We want to play it safe. We want to stay. We want to play it safe. So we'll stay on the hards. Alright, everyone's on the hards. Oh, that was a horrible getaway. What was that? There was no clutch grab. Oh my gosh. Someone on the outside. Ah, oh, okay. Getting swarmed now because of Verstappen illegal overtake. Oh, they collided. Oh my god. Yo, these guys! Yo, these AI are driving like... What? Fast and Furious? Alright, for now we're fine. Weather report. In about 10 to 15 minutes. 10 okay, to 15 minutes, like okay. Could have stayed on another set of mediums, but hey. We're gonna play it safe in case this 10 to 15 minutes lasts the next 20. Okay, I think I might let Verstappen through because he has the DRS advantage. We want to do the same thing as earlier, just stay behind him, use the DRS to stay relatively compar competitive. And then charge up the ERS for a move at some point. We want to stay in this train. Okay, is someone actually retiring or is this just bogus yellow flags? Yep, someone's retiring. It looks like an Alpine or a Williams. Sergeant. Sergeant the true goat, just like Legotifi. But no safety car. Oh my god. Still have DRS. This is good. Okay, expect to see some rain about 10 
ends at 15 minutes from now. You told me that five minutes ago. Okay, mate. Lap times are a little erratic at the moment. Let's try and close up the difference between them. What do you mean erratic? Yellow flag. Shut your mouth. I haven't been erratic. Okay, I'm driving consistently here, mate. Track, no overtaking through the yellow flags. Hey, fastest lap, let's go. Fastest lap. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 9.6 seconds. I might try the move on Verstappen. Around the outside and DRS, let's try and pull away a little. If not, we'll go back to being P2 and using the DRS train to our advantage. Oh, come on! That was marginal. Another fastest lap. Uh, that was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Well done. Five minutes until rainfall expected. Five minutes until rain. Drives definitely seem like the fastest tire at the moment. Five minutes. Five minutes. Stole DRS off this guy. Oh no, someone's going around my outside. Okay. Got past Verstappen, so I can use the inside line there. Five minutes, that's relatively soon. Next five laps. Trevor behind. That's science behind you now. Okay, push, push. Gap to the car behind. 1.5 seconds. Okay, they're on fresh hards. In last lap time, 106.3. Alright, I am pulling a gap on the guys behind. This is good. We keep it going. Until the rain comes in about three laps time. Yeah, really good job on there we go, market. objective hey, complete. Nice Someone has a yellow flag. But that's fine. Okay. Oh, the rain started. The rain has started right now. DRS is still enabled. So it's not damp yet. It's just drizzling. It's kind of like Canada, you know, just reverse. Canada had a horrible wet weather start. And then it got dry. Meanwhile, we had a nice dry weather start. Going to the horrible rain. Now I'm starting to feel a little bit of uncertainty in the car, so I think the dampness is coming. But it's still very far away from Inter's conditions. Yep, it is definitely on the edge. DRS disabled. Weather report. Okay, conditions are going to keep deteriorating for 10 minutes at least. We're not certain which is the best tire right now, dries or Inter's. It's enters. If I'm sliding around like that, it surely enters, right? Set intermediates. Okay, we'll fit enters on your next stop. Box a slap. No grip. Pitting. Just like everyone else apparently. Thankfully we're towards the end of the pit lane. So I don't think I'm going to get impeded as I put on my intermediates on. Come on boys. Give me a good stop. No mistakes please. Okay, go, go, nice. Go. Nice. There, boys. Boys. You're legends. You're all legends. I think everyone's in the pits. 
Oh my god, everyone's in the pits. Haha! -ha. Advantage me! Definitely enters. I have a little bit more grip. All right, let's coast, coast for the last seven laps. Okay, mate. We've got some clear track around us now, so let's use it and make this next lap a quick one. Let's go. What's up with this guy in objectives, man? Lap time of one fifteen seven. Let me do it right now. I just want to cruise home, mate. None of this stupid objective bolt crap. And some information on Leclerc. They've got an issue with their car, they're going to be slow. I don't care about Charles Leclerc right now. All I care about is myself and Verstappen. There we go. Objective done. Now shut your mouth. One lap away from glory, ladies and gents. One lap away from glory. Four seconds to Max Verstappen, who is the only AI with any sort of pace on these enters. Beautiful. Just take it easy. What of my tire? Tire deck looks fine. Tire temp looks fine too. Nice. We keep pushing. Verstappen losing pace all of a sudden. What's happening there? Maybe he deployed all his battery. Maybe he's been going hot lap for the for like 10, 12 laps. Maybe less in the wets. One more sector to go. I might win my home race here. I might win my home race here after heartbreak for the sprint race, but I think a home Grand Prix win is in the books for us. For Haas. First win, first yes, time yes, on yes, the top step of the podium. Let's go. Today was another great race and an even greater victory for Haas. Here they come now to step out onto the top of the podium. They'll be incredibly happy with today's result. Amazing weekend for us as Max Verstappen rounds out the top of the weekend points, but I take the top step of the podium with P1. After that crazy Grand Prix with the dry stint, a red flag, and then the rain stint. Verstappen P2 with Norris P3, Russell, Stroll, Piastri, Albon, Leclerc, Perez, and Tsunoda round out the top 10 points finishers. Hamilton, Alonso, Alcon, Ricardo, Sainz, Gasly, Hülkenberg, Joe, Bottas, and Sargent round out the finishers. Well, actually, Sargent DNFs. Uh, he did not cause a red flag, though. That was weird. I don't know what happened. We'll check. Max Verstappen still leading by 50 points but I'm here in P11 a good number of points added to my tally 25 for this weekend could have been more as long as that engine just stays intact please this gap has come down to 130 or maybe it extended I don't know but the current gap is 130 points between McLaren and Haas we extend the lead ahead of Williams though which is solid Williams also scoring some good points to this weekend overtaking kick Sauber so this was a stellar weekend absolutely amazing pace one 10 AI and we absolutely left them in the dust that is what we like to see the 
the car's coming along. I like it. And maybe there's some more good things to come in the later half of the season. A lot of upgrades came through for Spain and then this one as well. So I am happy with the progress this car is having. We'll see if another team comes knocking for our signature. But for now, I am satisfied with the Haas car and the progress we're making. Thank you guys so much for your support. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe using the red button down below. Hit the notification bell as well so you're notified when the next episode goes live. More F124 driver career mode content is coming up. So please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys for a new video tomorrow.